We're back on Our Edge Talk Show with Donna and Jules, and we got Chris Bethune, the actor from Still Got the Juice. And Chris, we wanted to talk to you about how you get this role, where did you go to get cast from, and all that good stuff, and how did you get started in acting? So give it to us. All right, so what I did was I had sent an email, because I seen a posting online on Facebook, you know, looking for actors who still got the juice. Um, the director is Antoinette Fernandez, and she wants nothing but the cream of the crop in her production. So she got me, you. So I mean, but it was it was hard for me. I'm not gonna lie. You know, with she because she demands a lot. So when we go and we audition, she wants to see us become that character. She wants to see you live, sleep, eat, breathe that character. And not only that, she wants to see how you're growing as an artist. Because a lot of times people think that being an actor is easy, and it's not. You don't just wake up one day and say, "Oh, look, I'm I'm Johnny Depp," or "I'm you know I'm this great actor." No, you gotta you gotta put in the time, energy, and effort to become the vision of what of what that character embodies. Was acting, sorry, was acting something you always wanted to do? Is it something you were doing before you got casted? Yes. I've, I've always wanted to act. That's, that's always been my passion. And I was just fortunate enough to have the opportunity to bring a character to life through, through the series. So ever since I was little, I remember just wanting to be an actor, just feeling like I had the passion, I had the talent, the creativity. Mm -hmm. And I never really wanted to, to be a nine to five office kind of person. Oh, OK. And still got the juice. Who's the character you play, and how did you had to get yourself prepared for that role? All right. So the name of my character is Stacy Peterson. Stacy Peterson is, you know, early thirties, male. Um, Jay Connor. You know, yeah, you know, cool That's with the ladies. You, you know. For, huh? you know? <laughs> but you know, he he's somebody who who to me, holding true to, to his character, mm -hmm. we all have internal conflicts, you know, as it pertains to between your, your, your spirituality and your carnality, um, someone who knows about, you know, God and religion and uses biblical scripture to try to communicate a point. But at the same time, he's the kind of person that, that will, will double cross you to right. get what he needs. Because I was about to say, read those biblical scriptures to take so the you off. how did you prepare yourself hey, I mean, for the role? <laughs> So what I, what I did to prepare myself for the role, because the role is very challenging, so what I had to do is um, I actually sent Tony a couple of things that, that I, was, I was doing. So I was reading a book, Respect for Actors, by Uta Hagen, because okay. like I was saying, you always got to better your craft. Yeah, you and do. one of the exercises the in book. there yeah. was about um, just the, the five W's, who, what, uh, why are you saying it, uh, what is your intention, you know, and, and what is your purpose for trying to, trying to, you know, um, or what, what goal are you trying to get from the scene? Mm -hmm. So what I did was I, put, I made a whole backstory, a biography of who Stacey Peterson is from what time does he wake up in the morning? What's his favorite color? What's his favorite meal? Like even what hand does he wipe his butt with? You know, is he, is he ambidextrous? So you got to really get into your character so that when she, when she challenges you um, with a certain scene, you got to be ready to deliver. That's nice. Since this is the Hip Hop Film Festival, what hip hop element do you feel like, you know, Tony is trying to bring to the play? And because you're from New Haven, you uh -huh. know? So, you know, it's usually when people look at hip hop, we look at Bronx, Queens, uh -huh. Brooklyn, you know, the birthplace of hip hop, New York City. What does New Haven hip hop scene, uh -huh. what is New Haven's hip hop scene like, and what did you borrow from that to bring to your character? Man, we have a lot of hip hop in New Haven, and sometimes people forget that even people like Special Ed was in New Haven. So before people oh, came, get out before of here. people, yeah, before I got people came, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm your idol, your oh. highest idol, numero uno. I'm not a Puerto Rican, but I speak like, That's the only one, But you know, but, 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 before, but before Apollo was big, people had to come and make it in New Haven. You remember Toast Place? Everyone comes yeah, to Toast Place, so right. you know. So even that. So when I think about Stacy, I think about Big Daddy Kane. I think about nice. you know some cool G rap. I think about KRS One, okay. someone that's gonna that's gonna spit some knowledge to you exactly. and still you know come with the LL. When I'm alone in my room, you know when you're talking to the ladies, you know what yeah. I mean. He really think he the LL. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Tell them uh, your. What do you want to happen for you? I always ask people this question because, you know, you can leave here tomorrow and go straight to a Spike Lee movie or a Tyler Perry or anybody else like that. What do you want to happen for you and Still Got the Juice in the near future? So the best thing about working with Still Got the Juice is we have a story to tell. 
And a lot of times we get so lost with our, with our own individual life that we forget that people are struggling. Some people are struggling with, with you know, um, being sexually molested by a family member. Some people are struggling with drugs. Some people are struggling with different types of addictions. And some people mental are, are, are mental illness. Or and with it, I mean, that, that, that's a struggle. I, I, I would love you know, it's, 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 it's a struggle, you know. It's a struggle. It's why I know. But you know, you got the head for it. You got the head for it. So we good. You know, we, we all can't have heads, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's like this is my cross to bear, you know. So, but with, with the story, it still got the juice. It's gonna touch everybody because even from interracial marriages and, and relationships, it's something for everybody. And right now, our our, our youth needs it. Oh, that's yes. What and, then I, and you know what? I like I like during the. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, I like during the um, scene where you guys were saying that he just came home from jail and you were telling you were being very mean. I was ready to get up on stage and kind of fight you. <laughs> that you were telling that he couldn't be at his foster mother's um, wake and all that kind of stuff. And then his like you know he leaned on his friend to cry and me and Jules always talk about you know people not being able to show their feelings and all that kind of stuff and that's what kind of makes the world kind of angry and all that kind of stuff and you know I just think it's a good thing and I think that was dope about it I think it's, like it, I think you bring up a, a great point mm -hmm. because even we as men we're, we're stereotyped and we're socialized not to be emotional right. so even with the scene that we're able to do you know we're able to show people like yo it's okay to cry right. because if you it keep is. that emotion inside only thing that's going to happen is, is, is the anger is going to be portrayed in a different way that hurts gonna be portrayed in a different way right. and for us being men of color usually that means you end up in either dead or in jail right well Chris it was a blessing to have you on this show to you. tell you about you know your acting and with the movie in let people know where they can reach you at they can check in on IG Facebook or any other type of social media First of all, I got a plug, still got the juice. So, you know, we got, you got to go on Facebook, um, follow Tony Internet Fernandez on Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram at Mr. B underscore Bethune. And just follow us. And there you have it. Still got the juice.